to Bastard Airsoft here, bringing you one of probably the most talked about loadouts and most well-known loadouts in all of Airsoft history. Now, of course, we've seen the World War II loadouts, and of course, we've seen Vietnam loadouts, but probably ever since uh, Airsoft started getting popular, and the movie really actually started gaining popularity, the Black Hawk Down Delta Force Operator loadout has probably been one of the most commonly talked about loadouts there is. This loadout, I have spent years trying to develop, and I still do not have it perfect. I want to make sure my hair is not hanging out the top there. <sighs> um, this is a very expensive loadout, I'm going to tell you right now. Because of the fact that the Delta's gear is so modern and elite um, this can this can get pretty spendy so let me start with the basics the tricolor desert uniform it's not that what modern or what Call of Duty Black Ops calls Nevada color camouflage this is the most more common type of desert camouflage the tricolor it has three colors that's why they say tricolor. It's a brown, a tan, and a very, very light green in there. The LBC. Um, both of these items can be bought at Army Surplus stores. Very inexpensive items. You can probably get the uniform, maybe $15, and the LBC, probably about $10. Alright, the little headset calm device. Um, buy one at Walmart, 10 bucks. The, probably the most tricky item to find is the Black Hawk Down plate carrier vest. This is uh, this is I'm I'm constantly getting messaged, and on other accounts I've gotten comments, and even on this account I've gotten comments. Oh, where'd you get that vest? This vest was bought off GoGoBargain.com for about twenty bucks. It was very cheap, and surprisingly the vest is very good quality. It even comes with packed in with dummy foam. Um, and, you know, you can't really see it that well, I guess you can, but the point two two three chest chest rig, uh, bought off blackhawk.com, Midway USA, either way, you're going to have to spend $50 on it. Um, alright, let's go down to the lower, the knee pads, easily bought at Walmart or something like that. Uh, that's dirt, that's not a tan knee pad, don't worry about that, mine are more like crappy knee pads because the hard part popped off and it's just a bunch of stuff but you know still works the thigh rig uh, even though they may seem the same thigh rigs and chest uh, and leg holsters are two totally different items thigh rigs sit more around up here and leg holsters sit right here uh, and I do not have a thigh rig I do have a leg holster but they are two separate things. The Nomex OD Green Flight Gloves. Army Surplus Store, 10 bucks at the most. Could be kind of challenging to find. The helmet. You can buy matte black helmets off just about any airsofting site. You can even buy them at Walmart. But for authenticity, like I did, you should sand it down. For that authentic scratchy Delta Force look, um, my helmet special. It's not a Protec. It's not a Protec helmet. Uh, actually, it's just a regular Walmart helmet. But I, you know, I gutted it. I took the styrofoam padding out. I took and I. Gosh, I'm getting tongue tied. I took all that styrofoam padding out. I velcroed in. I glued in vel Velcro strips, and I put the squishy foam padding back in and then with the helmet liner I just velcroed that to all the squishy foam to form a lightweight thin combat helmet and some of you might comment that's not authentic well yes it is because if you notice in the scene in Black Hawk Down where Grizz Martin dies he doesn't have a liner in his helmet it's completely it's, it's hollowed out like mine uh, the sun dust and wind goggles I know they're not ANSI rated but they're just for looks. As you can see, I wear safety glasses. Not these. Um, 
a year probably going to spend anywhere from 80 to 130 dollars on this total loadout like I said it's a pretty spendy loadout but once you get it all down pat it's well worth it I mean I know there's a lot of people out there who don't like me but you can't tell me I don't look Delta <laughs> I mean that's just that's just insanity and then if you saw the movie the true story of Black Hawk Down I don't know how many people have seen that besides me There is a little documentary on the History Channel called The True Story of Black Hawk Down. And just in case any of you were wondering, they actually did wear helmets with ear pads. The helmets without were just kind of a budget cut for Hollywood. But Delta helmets actually looked somewhat like this. They were hockey helmets as they're described. But I still personally like the uh, skate helmet better, just because of looks, everything like that. And believe me when I say that this communication device, it's not a necessity, it actually turns out to be kind of a burden. So I hope you all enjoyed my loadout. When I open it up, please check out uh, OTAG Airsoft. It stands for Oregon Tactical Assault Group. I'm relocating or to Oregon, and I'm creating a new account. So check that out when I get it opened up, actually. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe on this video. And I'll just give you a kind of a quick back view, just kind of, you know, because I know you guys like looking at my butt. Um. Like I said, comment, rate, subscribe, and you all have a nice day.